All right, I'm jamming. Hit it. Back to Core Raiders, another week of America's foremost Quora podcast with your hosts, Alex and Jeremy. Hello, I'm Alex. I'm Jeremy. I really thought that you edited that sound into a new theme song because I didn't see you hit the button. Killing and I was spree. Very excited. I didn't mean to hit it, but then I had to play it off because yeah. I'm a professional. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of a sleepy one here today, isn't it, Jeremy? Yeah, a little bit. On a sleepy, rainy day. <laughs> Is that a third podcast in the last? 20 hours in the last 20 hours and we're doing two more on sunday but anyway uh there's no better kind of day to spend a little bit of time on my favorite place quora.com and we have a great guest to introduce to quora today uh the world-renowned comedian dina hashem dina well hi i'm dina Woo! <laughs> dina how the heck are you <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm so excited to delve into Quora. Uh, I'm a Quora user yeah? myself. I think I might actually have an account that I really? don't know the password for. Have you done posts on there or no. you just lurk? Okay. No, but sometimes I want an answer from a human being. Mm. I feel like Reddit and Quora are actually the only places to get answers from humans. Yeah, right? so. but Quora is quickly becoming AI. They're is adding uh, chatbots to answer all these <gasps> They're making it questions. cringe. That's so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's such a, a great niche for them to capitalize on where everything, you'll only be able to talk to a robot. Like, yeah. It's a good time for them to be like, we're human only, right? We're the They're one human up. website left. They've really gone the other way with it. It's funny you say that. <laughs> <laughs> if you t So we ask a question at the end of every show, which we will get into. But and the first thing that happens when you look at any question is there is a long AI answer to whatever the question yeah. was that they try to get you to read. Yeah. And we'll do like a crazy question that's just like, I don't know. I'm trying to look through our, like, don't, what's what your, is favorite your favorite war, war crime? crime? And then the AI will be like, war crimes are a really interesting topic. <laughs> <laughs> and, Massacring of civilians. Yeah. Beep, bloop, blorp. As a robot. Yeah, oh, by the way, I am a robot, bleep, blorp. <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> it's AI. <laughs> it's, it's legally they have to say that. And God forbid they change that rule. <laughs> Their second job is actually blowing up people. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> And of course, they have a podcast. Everybody has a podcast. That's right. um, we've been trying to add more segments to our show. This is season three, A New Beginning. And um, for a while, we've been attracting new listeners with the very popular Tips for Men segment. Tips for Men! But as time has gone on and we've expanded our female user base, we've actually come to realize that it's not always time to give tips to men. That's right. Not all about them. And to kind of get the other half of the coin, we are experimenting with a new segment that we will be trying out today. And that is, of course, starting the podcast with the world famous Tips for Women. Tips for Women. It's hard to like cut off the sound at the right time. I feel assaulted by that. Yeah, that's a dead. <laughs> Assault is wrong. <laughs> and that's, for women. that's one of the tips. That's, but, that's for the men. <laughs> that one's still that, for the men. Yeah. We'll one more tip. One. On Sunday, we will go back and do that one. Do Until not then, assault. Don't do it. Yeah. Defend. Defend. Defend the flag. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that's a tip for men. Uh, Dina, do you have any tips you'd like to give to women at the beginning of the quarter show? You don't have to have one. Um, we can do one. Oh, I do have a tip actually. Okay. Um, this is a this is an eyebrow specific tip. Okay, and it's uh, actually it could be for men as well. Sure. This is an all gender tip. Um, uh, there's a lot of products out there where they're like, do you want to regrow your brows? And like, they they cost a lot of money, but the. Th but the real function of these products is just the act of rubbing your eyebrows. Ah. It's the physical stimulation of the follicle that stimulates hair regrowth. I've seen this on TV where the women rub their eyebrow. Really? I just thought they were stressed. Oh, I don't know if, yeah. I think that's a different thing. I think thing, it is. Like, no, that's not that's it. That is stress. No, that's not it. No. <laughs> so mad. No, 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 no. Like that. That's not it. But it might be working for them. Uh -huh, um, sure. So yeah, if you want to like stimulate hairy growth, um, just do a little massage, just like you oh. know, ten minutes a day, and it could be for your scalp as well. And you don't I'm need to be trained it. on that; you can just get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are people usually trying to grow more eyebrow? I thought it was all yeah. a game of less eyebrow. Oh my no, god, eyebrows are in, Alex. Yeah, this was a night. See, a lot of women got fucked, including me, because when I was growing up, thin was in. And as an Arab woman, I had the thickest eyebrows ever, mm. and my mom wouldn't let me go 
pluck them. So I did it myself and I like moved uh, everything. So it still hasn't come back to the way it was. And so, yeah, everyone wants bigger brow now. Oh so, my yeah. God. This is a huge time for Polish people. <laughs> <laughs> a big discovery coming in there. Um, sure. I did, when you said this at first, I was like, if you've been on a fire, I guess you would lose all your eyebrows. <laughs> Sometimes women paint on their eyebrows. That's true. Have you seen this, you piece of shit? <laughs> <laughs> on TV, I think? saw it. Yeah, I bet. Hey, I saw it at the aquarium. <laughs> Fuck you. That was, yeah, that was tips for women. That was, yeah, that was tips for women. <laughs> Is it too long to do it twice? Tips it's pretty long. It's less for long women. than tips for men. I cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait until we have to do tips for non-binary people and Alex has to make a third song. Uh, what instrument will it be? I don't know. <laughs> We've done guitar. That'll be saxophone. in a month or two. Piano? We'll get there. Piano, black keys, white keys, two genders? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do not condone the <laughs> I'm doing my Joe Biden answer. There are at least two kinds of keys on the piano. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we well, probably has tips for men if we had Joe Let's Biden abandon right this premise immediately. <laughs> okay. And begin the show. Uh, now, as uh, I was saying earlier, at the end of every episode, we like to ask a question, and we start the episode by seeing if anybody left a little answer. So this is our last week on Core Raiders segment. What was our question last week, Jeremy? Is it stolen valor to wear a black belt? Oh, and I still don't know, so I hope there are ways of clearing this up. Leonard Smith says, no, it's not. Only dumb as hell if a real holder of a black belt challenges you. Oh, my God, dude. That's like um, that's like when you're pretending to be a Terminator and you walk in file in the Terminator's march, but they uh -huh. know you're not one of their droids because you don't respond to the magnetic signal. Right. <laughs> but you're wearing like a robot suit so they, you look like one? or they can Right, yeah, you're wearing one. So visual, like to a human, you would. Uh -huh. You've you've uh, covered yourself in their blood. When I started this analogy, I thought it was maybe a common text that we could all pull from, but I, now I realize I'm making it up as I go. Terminator. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't happen. In ter well, there are there are parts where the Terminators pretend to be men. That's true. In the future, the dark and they're future. Naked. Yeah, and they're naked yeah. to go through the time machine. Of course. Right. Uh, so we're getting a lot of no's and no yeses. Yeah. Looking at these. Yeah, no yeses on this, which I think is good. So it was you mean if someone was just outside wearing a black belt? Yeah, but they weren't oh, really one. Okay, okay. So like if me or Alex was just hanging around in arrow like gi. Yeah. And we had a black belt. I mean, I think the bigger problem than stolen val valor is it's just very strange. It is pretty yeah, strange yeah, to yeah, do, yeah. yeah. And it's wrong to lie as well. Uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Also, you could be like called to action if there's like a fight. Someone might be like, you! <laughs> right. If there's a fire. A like, fight. There's yeah, no yeah. firefighters here yet, but we do have a black belt. Yeah. And you're like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they could do the thing where they kind of push it out with one strong palm. I mean, this happened to you, right? Like, weren't you on the subway and people like employed you? To, yes. To, well, that's not the same as being a black belt. Well, I if told you Jeremy were... a story where I was going, to, I was waiting on the tr L transfer at uh, Metropolitan one time to go do a stupid podcast. And sure. this woman started like, grabbing this man trying to get on the train and she was like stop him someone stop him and we were all just looking at her like crazy people in new york city and then she was like and none of these men will help me right <laughs> right and so me and this crowd just start like grabbing this guy who's like trying to i guess assault a woman on there and then uh yeah, yeah that was very jarring i thought so also i didn't know who that guy was i was like what if he stabs me but i also was shamed into doing it if you were wearing a black belt now they'd expect you to roundhouse kick that guy right then i would be in charge of fighting yeah. him but thank good imagine you see someone in a fight on the subway and you look around and there's one guy in a black belt. <laughs> you'd be like you should do something <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if someone steps in here um yeah it's pretty much like having a badge but um for robes yeah yeah I guess I'm still, I, I have a gi myself, but oh, yeah. I only took one jujitsu class. Uh -huh. so okay. Uh, what I color is that? Keeping white. this. White. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take back the robe. <laughs> I did Taekwondo as a child, and I feel like I got to like a color, but yeah, I was like eight. Same. So what, what does that mean even? No, you were good then. <laughs> like, I, I was like 40 pounds. I was taking them to the mat. <laughs> yeah. If I ever get jumped by like a bunch of pieces of wood. Oh, I can break those <laughs> bad, bad boys in half. I went to a Taekwondo class as an adult, which is the most embarrassing because <laughs> I didn't know. It said all ages, uh, and I didn't know that it was like... Is really, it all children? I showed up, and it was all kids, <laughs> and they thought I was there to pick up like my child from the previous oh, class. No. It was so embarrassing. I just left. I didn't take the class. Oh, wow. Yeah. You, they would have made you spar with a child. Right? I mean, it would, it's either... Yeah. It was I'd just, hope you'd win. 
I probably wouldn't. <laughs> it's better to win than to let them win. Yeah, no, yeah. It's kill or be killed. <laughs> you can't lose to a child. That's not good. Oh, casual reminder: if you are listening to the show, it and is you kill or be killed. Feel like well, it is kill or be killed. And then other reminder <laughs> that if you must answer our Quora questions, you yes. must use the code word scrambled, scrambled eggs. eggs, and that way we'll know you're here from our show and you're not like a real ass guy, yeah. are you? And, and also, a uh, casual reminder: it is kill or be killed. It's the jungle out there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is our episode, Crime and Punishment. Yeah, we, seamless the, segue into the theme this week. <laughs> we do themes on this. All right, hit the parenting button. This is our segment, Quarenting. That's enough. All right. Oh, this is on mentalfacts.quora.com. Oh, shit. I would right. love to learn some mental facts. This is our first par- parenting question in our Crime and Punishment episode. Uh, have you ever been diaper punished 24-7 as a teenager? Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Dina, have you? I know I wasn't diaper punished 24 7 yeah. until at least 23. <laughs> <laughs> I just do we all are we all supposed to be knowing what diaper punishment is? Um It's I on mean, mental facts. So they don't explain it. I, I don't um I don't know what it is, but I feel like I could assume what diaper punish 24-7 means. You would assume it's yeah, it's put in a diaper as a, a yeah. humiliation punishment, but what if it's like smacked around with a diaper full of coins or something? <laughs> I will say, we do, we, we've come across a lot of diaper fetishists on Quora, so that is a okay. thing. No, I know. They're I, doing it. Have you heard about the New Hampshire diaper spa? No. Was that out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a whole place now that these freaks can go. 24-7? Uh, I haven't looked at the details, Alex. It's not a punishment. Um, but you can um, pay like a, a, a fee, like $600, and you can go there and be wow. in a diaper, and there's like people there to do whatever it is that you want them to do to you. What do you want them to do I to sh- you? If you're going to the diaper destination, New like, Hampshire, do you get burped? These people yeah, decide our president. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There's no taxes. There's <laughs> diaper free range areas. That's wild. See, I always like reading these kinds of questions because eighty um, percent of the time it's an erotic perv who's like uh, looking to be uh, a sicko online, and then twenty percent of the time it's like a very sick person who's like, I can't control my bowels. Yeah. I like wearing it. That is the problem. Where we're like, look at these idiots, and then one person's like, I'm very sick. Yeah, not you. You're, yeah, no, you're fine. You're you can the wear best. the diaper. <laughs> but diaper punished the user. Diaper punished. I think that person is not sick. And I think they're sick. Maybe well, they're different. punished. They're certainly punished for being bad. They're, they're bad. Certainly. Punished. Punished. They're definitely not good. <laughs> what uh, did they say? Diaper Punish says, I was one summer f- I was one summer for the summer for misbehaving and treating siblings bad. Spent whole summer break fully diapered. Oh, 24-7. Yeah, that's... Uh, it yeah. sounds like an actual baby wrote that. What, what, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, by the way, kids are using iPads too young. <laughs> and then, this is how you can tell. <laughs> okay, now there's a user named Sam, okay. and he says, Diaper Punished, are you a girl? Message me. Oh. oh, and Sam's bio is I love man United men and women football teams. I also like Harry Potter and stranger things. If you want to message me, feel free. Oh, wait, Sam just likes to chat. <laughs> oh, wait, am I crazy? They are purposely trying to type like a, a kid. I think Quora, it's its own language. It's over there. beyond They've, that. They're, this is the thing you're saying, like, oh, it's one of the last places to talk to people. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of people? Bring back the bots. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If you go to Sam's interest, it's knows about diapers and, and pull-ups. And I don't think those are the exercise. <laughs> yeah, which are really good for just sculpting your back. <laughs> <laughs> um, like Manchester United. Which Sam loves. Well, apparently Sam is 15. Oh. Well, Sam needs to read uh, more books then because they have not figured out. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait. Sorry. He answered a question from someone who's 15. I don't know if Sam is 15. I'm sorry. Don't go. We're going to go to jail. If every time (laughs) you see a Quora, you go, by the way, they're 15. Eventually, the law will catch up with us. (laughs) This is crime and punishment. This is someone who's been diaper punished 24 (laughs) 7. It's so much time. And they just want to know if you're a girl. Um, <laughs> are there any other good answers? There's one from um, Diaper Boy James. Diaper Boy James oh says, Oh, my God. Yeah, Wait, I forget the original question. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever the been original? diaper punished 24-7 as, as a teenager? teenager? Okay, right, right, okay. Now, Diaper Boy James <laughs> says, <laughs> yes, that's what made me enjoy them and want to wear them. Oh, So punishment failed. Yep. If you're not watching the YouTube, <laughs> check out how confused he is. There's just so many parts to the question that I don't understand. Like, 
So there, is it a sexual thing or not? It's fully a sexual it's thing. Okay, so I'll explain punishment. it. For some reason, there are people with fetishes who go to Quora to jack off. Uh -huh. And the way that they jack <laughs> they off. They don't know there's like a porn hub. Yeah. They're out of <laughs> I actually just kind of like that. I like the yes. quaintness. Yeah. Of, so yeah, yeah. the way that they do it is they ask a prompt and they expect us to fill in the answer so that they can, I don't know, come to it or something. Oh. So they'll be like, has anyone ever been stuck in a diaper? And then they're looking for Diaper Boy James to be like, oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. And it was quite enjoyable for and, me. And James, yeah, very matter of factly. It's actually quite nice. It's actually how I got my name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so. We might have know. started off too big here. Yeah, I feel, yeah. <laughs> we, we, so, I think this is the craziest one we're going to read all day. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but uh, I was my favorite, which is why we put it at the top. Um, Cross-dressing diaper lover says, no, as a teenager, I was just beginning to fall in love with wearing diapers and was a good boy. Can you cross-dress with diapers? Aren't diapers... Diapers are diapers. No, there's gendered diapers. There's, there's gendered diapers. like, you know, a uh, Cinderella on it. Or oh, like, yeah, or a lion. Yeah. Sure. And that's a tip for women. <laughs> Lions are for boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's move on, because, you know, we've done a lot of diaper fetish content on this, web, this uh, podcast already. That's enough. All right, here's another question. Is it wrong to punish a 13-year-old child for bad grades by locking her in a closet for six hours? Oh why God. or why not? You got this, Cora. Um, I'm going to say yes. I'm gonna, what I really like about this one is that it opens the floor for discussion. <laughs> <laughs> it really promotes civilized yeah, debate like, with why or why not. I, mean, <laughs> I just hope it's like a cop who wrote that question. <laughs> hoping to it could statistically. be a cop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not the for the reason like you're looking for. Thirty percent cops. So. It's a cop who's telling the truth. You know when you're in the subway and they're on their phone and you're like, "What are they doing on there?" <laughs> yeah, they're on Quora. How do I ruin my child's life? Is six hours too long? Um, I think it's very likely this person is a troll, but mm -hmm. um, but uh, that will not stop us from reading no. it on the show. Yeah. Unfortunately, we certainly will discuss it. It's too sad. <laughs> um, but uh, six hours, I'm going to jump in and say, that is too long. I think it's too long. They're going to forget the outside world. Yeah. By that point. You can't put your kid in solitary. Just put him in a closet for a little bit. Ten and minutes ten tops. Minutes. Seven minutes in heaven, parentheses, hell. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I want to know the answers. Um, there's uh, there are hundreds of them. Several. <laughs> I think there's actually like thousands of answers on this one. No, the, the top one starts with my father was a pilot during World War II. I cannot imagine how this gets. He like, was shot in. down at the beginning of 1944. <laughs> he was interrogated by the Gestapo before being sent on to a POW camp. One of the ways he was tortured in an attempt to get information from him was to shut him in a small room, a room too small for him to stretch out and turn on the lights. And diaper punishments. Yeah, I think they're basically, he's saying don't do this because it's oh, similar to my dad it. who was uh, tortured in World War II. It's kind of like the Gestapo kind of to do that. Yeah. Like, I guess, the more parenting-oriented ones. I yeah. mean, it's just funny that he thinks he needs to go to that deep of an analogy to explain why that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Still think locking your daughter in a closet <laughs> is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Um, everyone's mad about it. I'm trying to see if there's anyone who's into it. Uh, there's a bold, this is child abu abuse. That's totally yeah. fair. And they link to the Wikipedia article for child abuse. <laughs> In case you're like, what is that? <laughs> uh, child what? <laughs> I've um, heard of that one. Okay. In the first place, your question doesn't get into why your daughter got bad grades. That's a great <laughs> point. She might be in the closet too long. <laughs> How is she studying? What a hilarious miscommunication. I think my daughter's in the closet. Due to her grades, I shot her in the <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, wait, I have a better idea. Go lock yourself in a closet for six hours and rethink your entire parenting technique until it gets into your head. Bam. Uh, that's not what being a parent is about. Killing spree. <laughs> that's a killing spree, if I've ever heard one. There's no recovering from that, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> We've Again, been it's, quarators. <laughs> it's a sleepy, rainy day today. <laughs> not so rainy where it's a problem. No. Just a little bit. No, it's fine. I might go on a run later. All right, let's read another one of these. This is our, la our last parenting question. My daughter summoned a demon through her Ouija board. <laughs> is spanking her an appropriate punishment? Now, there should be a punishment. For if you bring a demon into my home, I sleep there. <laughs> yeah, this is like the people who like hate who their kids date. 
I'm running no demons in my home kind of house. No daughter of mine will bring a demon here for prom. He's not allied with the Morning Star, is he? <laughs> oh, boy. Spanking. No, I don't think you should spank for a demon. Yeah. It seems inappropriate. All right, well, we know we're not doing the closet, so, like, what am I doing? <laughs> no How TV? It's a no TV summoning. part? It's a goddamn demon in the house. <laughs> I mean, you should be rewarding them for not being on their phone, right? right like, summoning yeah. a demon is still... It's true. It's, um, it's an old school activity. Yeah. yeah. What is a Ouija board if not kind of like a book? Yeah. Yeah. There's letters. letters. It helps you spell. Yeah, usually when it bad moves words. on its own. Yeah, usually words like uh, Demonic kill, kill, you know, uh, 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 pitchfork. Yeah, it takes so long for a demon to spell pitchfork. Demons love to review music. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just a little joke about the website Pitchfork, folks. Thanks Look for it up, everybody. <laughs> Check out pitchfork.com. Is there going to be any way where we learn about demons in this post? Is there going to be one expert for once? In the um, whole world? There's a very confused answer here where someone says, in my experience, it is never a good idea to punish a demon by spanking it. So the demon is not being punished. No, no, no. The daughter is... The daughter is the one who's in trouble. She was bad. The demon, I He's assume fine. you're like reading <laughs> prayers to or something. Yeah. I think spanking the demon is appropriate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you can. For sure. Yeah. If, you've, if you're a black belt... Mm -hmm. <laughs> you better be one. Dude. You need to diaper punish the demon. Yes. <laughs> yes. Put the demon in a diaper. I keep having accidents. I actually kind of like it now. I'm twisted. This is good to me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, there's an answer from your Lord and Savior, Lucifer Morningstar. Yeah. He says, I suppose you've taken the time to run the appropriate wait, test wait. to ensure that this is a true demon and not say a troll. Okay. Underneath your Lord and Savior, Lucifer Morningstar, his experience is senior software engineer, 1999 to present. Yeah. Uh, that, the devil himself was a software engineer um, who knows uh, uh, things like sex and computer programming. Those huh. are his topics of interest. All right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't expect a like a kind of chiding answer from him. I guess from the name. Um, Steve Jeanette says, "Dear questioner, a female demon is quite rare in my experience. Please congratulate your daughter." Again, no information on the they gender of this it, demon. We're making this up for it's clout. Me pissed off. And this guy's a former lawyer who lives in uh, Alaska. I think. Oh. AK Alaska, I think it is, right? Is there do a lot of things go to court in Alaska? I feel like it's kinda like wood rules. Um It's like, also the rape capital of the country. Yeah, it's because where people flee <laughs> because they were found somewhere else right. and they're like, there's no rules here. Yeah, yeah exactly. I can just live in a yeah. bus. As long as yeah. the bears agree with me. <laughs> bears. What could happen? Pro rape. <laughs> Never once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust a bear. <laughs> That's what Grizzly Bad was about, right? They don't know how to read. <laughs> um, yeah, this guy says, I used to be a lawyer. Now I teach social studies in a native village school in the Alaska bush. Well, that's kind of nice. Yeah, I guess. I'm not sure I'd want a social studies teacher who's active on Quora. No. I would feel split about that. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Though it does mean you're tech forward. Um, I don't think that the question has anything to do with the gender of the demon. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. So we still don't know if you should spank her or not. No, no one's answering. All right. Um, Simon says it depends. Is the demon still loose in the house? How big is it? How big is it? <laughs> if it's of a reasonable size and spanking your daughter might enrage it. Having been summoned by your daughter, it will undoubtedly feel some kind of debt to be repaid paid. So it may just spank you back. I've you don't want to be demon spanked. I've never heard any of these rules before. Everyone is misinterpreting the question. How's that possible? Yeah. Well, this person's saying that the spanking could become an issue where like if the demon has sworn, you know, allegiance to your daughter, oh, if you right. spank her. Now, now you have an angry If demon. it invites yeah. aggression into the home, yeah. the demon can use that if it's over six feet. <laughs> how big do demons get? Uh, They're I big in my head. Yeah, it depends on how big the tank is. Oh. They're like fish. Oh. This is what that joke is. And they like fill that up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get you. <laughs> All right, well, glad we got to the bottom of that question. I hear what you're saying, and I'm saying yes. This person has a great answer. Jaden says, hi. <laughs> I like that she's just agreed. Hi, Jaden. Hi, Jaden. Uh, if she can do that, then I wouldn't piss her off then. It's true. I feel like we're all misreading this. What do you mean? What, how so? I 
What do you mean, how so? All what? of the answers have been like, and it's a girl demon? <laughs> no, no, no. This person's saying, how big is it? If your daughter can summon a demon, then you shouldn't spank her because she's got like a some oh, sort of connection see. to hell. Because yeah. she's a witch lord. Yeah, she'll kill you. Yeah, she'll hex you or she'll something. She'll summon another demon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She's obviously good at it. Jaden, yeah. you get credit, but everyone else Hi, Jaden. Hi, Jaden. <laughs> Jaden Game Email. Yeah, that is, is a beautiful name for a girl. Uh, <laughs> on March 5th, someone asked, where can I buy legal guns? And she wrote, not from me. <laughs> That's another boom. Same, same. Killing yeah. spree. <laughs> she also asks a bunch of questions about, about questions. She says, how can I chat with you and no one else can see? Oh, behind a screen. Jaden. Jaden Game Email. All right. Well, <laughs> why are boys awake when circumcised? I don't. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the more we've read about circumcision on here, the more I'm yeah. against it. That's right. a that's good enough. question. I think that's a valid question. Yeah. That, uh, Quora has turned me against circumcision. <laughs> I, I have no real opinion on it. I'm against it. I'm anti as well. All right. There we go. Yeah. It's over. It's over, <laughs> it's over for that. Tips for men. Um, let's go to our animal questions, Quora Gone Wild. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Beautifully done, Mr. Patak. We just have one if you're done, lion. <laughs> um, we just have one animal question today. That's all I wanted to say. If I piss in my dog's bed, will it correlate a link and stop pissing in mine? Now, I should clarify. I put this one in here. Somebody sent this to me because I, I did a post uh, promoting the podcast. Right. And the stranger sent me a... Uh, a retort that they would rather listen to a dog yes. drinking piss. That's right. That's right. Than my podcast. And we both were very excited about this and <laughs> tweeted that we will do a dog drinking piss episode. I tweeted the Eminem oh, listening right. to headphones picture. Um, but it did get us wondering about yeah. what is going on with dogs and piss. And so this is kind of a, another crime and punishment question of how do you get a dog to stop? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, are they expecting like the dog will be like, oh, he pissed in my bed and I don't like that, so I should stop. Yeah. Pissing. Well, that's a wrong assumption. The dog would probably love the piss. Right. right? Because it's smell um, efficient. They do retaliate. It's smell like dense. That, like I, my cousin had a dog, and they would like fight and stuff. And the dog did pee in his bed to be like, "Fuck you, dude." Oh. Yeah, no, they retaliate for yeah. sure. It's also about like ownership, or is that just cats? I don't know. Cats pee to mark territory. They also, but like dogs also pee to mark territory. Yeah. yeah, we're all doing it. We're all doing that. Um, you know, I don't even think I could confidently say this won't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah, fair enough. I think it's rude. Like, I think it's <laughs> uncivil to do, but it yeah. might, like, in, in dog, like, in the streets for a dog, that might be, like, the move. I just imagine a dog, like, walking into their house and they see, like, a grown man just be like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of shit. What the hell? How was the bone you had today? <laughs> I own your bed. <laughs> I bought it from the store. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and presume one of these answers is I tried this. Yeah. Um, um, I would. I want to hear from a vet if we can grab one of those. Well, I have an uh, economist. Sure. We'll start with that. She says, you are a rational being. Classic economics. Dogs ain't rational, so there's no correlation in them. Just train it to do the right deeds, and you will be surprised. In the marketplace of piss, the most efficient <laughs> transaction is often rewarded. Shut up. <laughs> You don't know about dogs. You don't know that life. Sure. The market decides the price where the streams cross. <laughs> it's so sad. The demand it's stream. It's right. Demand stream. Toby says, thanks for the honest answers. I'll be sure to look back on these in the next instance. In seriousness, I ended up training the dog via various means to stop. Were you joking before? Who? Was I joking? <laughs> no. The, and he said, in Toby? all seriousness. Uh, maybe he was joking. Maybe this is just a joke question. He was like, I'm just venting about. Well, why'd you bring it up then, dog. Toby? Toby, we're trying to I'm get invested. to the bottom of this. <laughs> oh. Most of the answers just say no. Probably no, no, not. no, probably not. Uh, it makes you a complete tool. Someone <laughs> says. Oh my God. Let's not um, throw words around. Yeah. You can't take back. Dogs lack in the the sense of personal accountability and agency which humans possess. So they're unable to put two and two together, and are unable to assess their own past behavior. I know that's true for cats. Yeah, uh, dogs. I feel like you famously can like train and. Here's what I'll suggest: close your door. Yeah. Okay, but what if you want a sleepy bedtime, dog? 
that you can't. What if you can't. what if he instead pisses in his own bed? Like, dude, this is where I piss. I can't piss here. <laughs> That's sure. actually that makes more sense than pissing yeah, in the dog's bed. The dog like, will probably think the human sleeps in the dog's bed after that. Yeah. Right. He thinks yeah. you're gonna switch. And then yeah. you sleep on like a rug on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of sucks. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Piss in your own bed. <laughs> yeah, so the answer is to piss in your own piss bed. Piss more, <laughs> We've piss solved more this than the dog piss. <laughs> so the dog's like, oh, that's his spot. Yeah. Work yeah. around squirt is piss. Great. <laughs> so I don't know if you can use that. <laughs> yeah, if you could use that. Feel Just afraid. start squirting in there. <laughs> and that's a tip for women. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to hit no, it. They're too, too long. long. <laughs> it's too long. Let's do the uh, Corbett and Fruit, our uh, religion segment. Let's go. Oh, I love this one. I don't know how you found this one, Alex. It's great. It was sent to us on the Discord. That's how. I don't find any good ones. Okay, this is our religion question. Does God allow us to 69? It's a mutual act, after all. Now, I've not heard anything about this. <laughs> There's nothing against 69 in the Bible. Yeah, I think it's fine. It's an Airbud situation. It's- Okay, go There's on. There's nothing in the book oh, that okay. says you can't say <laughs> <laughs> And also, dogs are good at it. And I almost want to be like, because it didn't exist back then, but there's no, the, no. The, as long as people had bodies, I feel like sure. 69 it was in the equation. Yeah. Um, interesting to invent it, though. I, th- I think the rules for sex in like 5 BC <laughs> were just like, don't be gross about it. <laughs> good. <laughs> act like you've been there before. Um, it is a mutual act, after all. It is a mutual act, after all. <laughs> There's a whole part of the Bible about like respecting yeah. mutuals. The it's Bible like Twitter is, rules. The, the Bible is big on like giving versus receiving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah God is against doming. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big part of it. It's a whole book of uh, the New Testament. So there are a lot of religious scholars uh-huh. around. Um, I'm hoping we can get an expert to chime in on this one, unlike the dog piss. Um, let's see, Derek, who studied ancient history and economics. And economics, so he's pretty much Jeremy. <laughs> I love ancient history. Uh, Derek says, if you're talking about the sexual position, then I don't think God is going to care about it. Okay. Sex isn't about pleasure. It's about love and passion. God sees you 69 and is just like, I'm going to turn around. <laughs> I'm not interested in this. <laughs> uh, a lot of people these days do the dirty just to have a, a hell of a good time feeling good inside. <laughs> That's true. I'm always saying that. God, I think, <laughs> is more than disappointed at how immature we've become. God isn't going to stop anyone from doing as they desire because that violates free will, which is his goal, which is a golden rule of his. And that's the end. Okay, yeah. Well, so yeah, I would say that uh, most of the time I'm doing the dirty. It's just to feel good as hell. <laughs> <laughs> This as a rule. I'm having a hell of a good time feeling good inside. <laughs> this whips, I say. <laughs> um, oh, this says you have to be married. I feel like that could be a God rule. God's pretty big on that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess that is if you are like genuinely really into the Bible, you, the answer is like if you're a man and a woman, it's right, fine. Right, right, right. Gay you, people can't 69. Yeah. If you think of marriage from God's perspective, it's pretty much like, yeah, you can do anything you want. I just need yeah. you to run it by me first. <laughs> I need to like pair you off in my yeah. head. He's like a cool parent who's like, you can do it if it's in my house. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to see you 69. <laughs> it is a consensual act after all. It's a mutual act. Excuse me. <laughs> it's also consensual. I-, I hope. I don't know how it would work the other way. I'm not going to think about it. It's not that kind of show. It's um, a sleepy, rainy day. Peter <laughs> says, it's an interesting world where humans get to change God's mind. Got your ass. <laughs> Not even the, just bishops and the Pope. I prefer God's kingdom where he alone makes the laws and judges. Those are the facts. <laughs> Peter's taking you to school. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Peter. Thank you, Peter. We um, love your stuff. All right, let's see. Jonathan says, let's get right first. By 69, you mean mutual oral sex. Personally, I don't think any sex act between consenting adults is any of God's business. All right. Interesting. Um, and then he says, it's my secret. I'm an agnostic if it makes any difference. So when the new Testament was written, I expect the pre-Christian Romans did do 69. That's what Alex said. But I imagine your average Jew had considerably less access to hygiene facilities. So it would have been pretty yuck. This is a vicious rumor that's been thrown around (laughs) about Jews for thousands of years. They cannot 69. (laughs) They think it's gross. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's just a sociological <laughs> fact. Uh, all right. He says no offense is intended. Okay. Yeah, he's so, just spitting here. There's, he's just going off. There is a lot more, but I don't know if it gets any better. No, not really. <laughs> okay. That's fair. 
I'm done with this one. Okay. <laughs> Me too. Let's uh, never think of this again. <laughs> okay. Let's go on to um, Forbidden Knowledge. Okay. The Unknown. Mysteries of the Universe. Now, I did, I was trying to scrounge up crime and punishment stuff about um, mysterious uh, 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 entities. Entities. I kept putting in the word ghost trick, but apparently ghost trick is a popular video game, so I couldn't really ghost get anything trick. with the word ghost or punishment in it. Okay. Um, <laughs> ghost trick. Like ghost a- trick, I guess, is a household name <laughs> all around the world. Like ghost prostitute. Um, and maybe that's what that's about. We're Although so I did expensive. see it lumped in with Ace Attorney a lot. <laughs> okay. So I think it was kind of like a problem solving kind of game. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this week's question. Why do humans punish demons as false gods? Hmm. Why do they do that? Kind of going off on a limb here. Humans love to punish demons as false gods. I don't know if it's a punishment. I don't understand the grammar of the sentence. Why do humans punish demons as false gods? So they <laughs> think the they view the demons. Do they are they idolizing the demons as gods, and that's why it's is the they, is the question like why do humans miss uh, categorize demons? Okay, yeah. But it's not really a punishment, right? I mean, yeah, it's. it's why do they consider demons? What I like about this one are all the answers that are like, I do not understand what you're saying. <laughs> you know how humans punish demons as false gods? The question is just why. Oh, okay. Demon Aetherly says, oh, I'm sorry, Damon Aetherly. That's a normal name. <laughs> that one's all me, dog. That is my bad. Uh, says, I can't remember ever seeing a demon getting punished by humans. So I guess you just misunderstood. Yeah, that's Damon. Uh, Damon says demons are oh, not having Read this problem. Sandy one. Sandy Summer says, I cut her off from Frisky's fish flavor snacks. <laughs> All right. That's <laughs> what so it says. It's my job to tell you what it says. <laughs> Bring on the AI. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a really good argument for AI, I think, reading these. And then Index says adults generally can't see them. Find a real book on them and use your own child as the seer. Then you'll know. <laughs> Just pray that your child forgives you for it, or they'll leave you wishing you were in hell to escape the pain. Uh huh, honey. God damn. Well, that answers the question. I hope that helped. This is also an answer. Someone wrote, like, posted like several photos of astrology yeah. information. I, I mean, I don't think this is oversharing, but Jeremy uh, recently whipped up like a TV pitch uh, where he made like beautiful colors and all sure. of the fonts and stuff. So it like pops when you send it to uh, TV executives and then okay. hopefully they give you a TV show. And this Quora answer is written like that, but it's about like uh, sending demons to hell. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? There's lots of little illustrations. <laughs> the studios love it. They're buying astrology from Quora. And it's the new hit new TV show. I saw those flowers brushing through your Bible quote. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make three versions of the three body problem. <laughs> um, there's not really much else to say about this. I kind of want to find the What else is there to at. say? Okay. So the question asker is a guy named Kelvin Davidson. And you will be surprised to, to find out this is his only question ever. Ominous. <laughs> I'm going to follow him. What we're, happened to Kelvin? We're, we're Kelvin's first follower. If Kelvin comes back, we want to know more. Kelvin, let us know what happened. What like, happened? Why do humans humans punish demons as false Did your daughter do this? <laughs> All right, let's go on to our politics question. Uh, it's about time. It's an election year. The quiz course. This is what's going on in your nation. How can we scare terrorist organizations such as ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and Boko Haram? Okay. How can we scare them? How can you outscare the terrorists? Scare them for what purpose, though? Just as like yeah. a fun goof? Just to yeah. get, okay. get their ass. Haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a very like 2005 style question. Yeah. How do we well, fear the terrorists? To be fair, this question is eight years old. Okay. So it is old. That's, I mean... But that's still way after War on Terror time. Although I guess it is still ISIS time around then. Yeah. 2016. Uh, yeah. So ISIS is around 2016. Yeah. And the question is, how do we scare them? Okay. Uh, <sighs> I guess you like put out something really scary, like um, the movie Hostel. Yeah, I was going to say, we just like airdrop paranormal activity. Yeah, yeah. 
And it, it's scary how much money it made for such a low budget. I mean, <laughs> I, we've talked about this on this podcast, <laughs> but Bin Laden loved video games and movies. Yes. So they got to sneak him a scary one. And Naruto and Final Fantasy VII. Yes, that's yeah. right. So I guess if you send him Resident Evil, they, he'd they, be like, is this what I'm doing? No, they, somehow they like convinced Bin Laden to play like the maze game where like if you touch the edge, it's just like <laughs> a scary woman being like, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> You know, it's a whole section of the world I'm staying out of. They got mazes. There are much better this. answers in the forum here. The top one is okay, by yes. showing unity and not giving in to fear. Yeah, Everyone start clapping at home. <laughs> if you're listening while driving, start clapping. <laughs> Take your hands off the wheel. Do not give in to fear. <laughs> by showing unity. Boko Haram hates that. Um... I don't even know what this means. Create division of other Muslim female homosexual. You will scare the crap out of them. And this is from Ansari Aimane, who works at Red Bull. All right. Which gives you <laughs> wings. <laughs> um, James Card, whose qualification is not a terrorist, says helpful. fear and then wrote an essay. <laughs> I don't know if we want to read the whole essay. It's kind of like annoying. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Spread effective rumors about known leaders. Investigate friends and family of members. Effective rumors. Offer that, huh? cash for actionable info. This guy's just trying to do like zero dark 30 in Quora. <laughs> that would work in creating fear for yeah. Al Qaeda. Those are all the answers. Okay. Those are all of them. That does kind of round it out for me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any ideas on how to scare ISIS? Besides I'd... Haunted House, release a scary movie, or stand yeah. strong? Some sort of mask. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> scary movie, Haunted House. Yeah, Unity. The Crash Bandicoot mask, I guess, is the yeah. last option. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes you strong. It gives you a second life. Sure. The one thing terrorists fear, a second life. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be explaining that anymore. A further. one up. <laughs> <laughs> Double jumping. Okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> um, I'm done with that one. We've got... We've got a few more. These are all police questions. This yes. Is our, our segment five quo. And this is not a real police siren if, if you're driving. If you're driving, if you're not public. Pointing. Don't be wa you should be watching the video. This is the podcast. Should police officers be present at all water parks, public beaches, and pools, keep a close eye on bikini-clad women, and arrest them immediately if their bikini bottoms slide down or get ripped off by the current slash waves, parentheses, nudity is a crime? Huh. Okay, that's one, of the, porn, that's one of the porn <laughs> ones, right? Yeah, so I get yeah, yeah, that's someone who's just like, Yes. Yeah. Let, me, let me tell you. Yeah. I, it's kind of funny from a New York perspective because I don't think there should be, but there are. Every time I go to the beach, there's like a cop on an ATV sure. behind me all day. Yeah. Nudity cop. <laughs> That's that a TV on. pitch. Keep that on. <laughs> <laughs> Have a big billboard that says nudity is a crime just flashing at you. Did I tell the story of how like uh, I was a lifeguard as a kid and I was like when I was like 15 on the water slide as a lifeguard, this woman in her, like her late 20s or whatever went down the water slide and her top came off and she like, quickly covered up. And her boyfriend, also in his late 20s, came up to me when I was like 15 and was like, hey, <gasps> that was pretty cool, huh? Oh, and I was like, no. You must have been a cool kid. Yeah. People was, wanted your approval. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to impress this boy. <laughs> <laughs> you were, were you wearing sunglasses at the time? I'm sure I was. Yeah, I bet you were pretty cool back then. Not account of the authority. Sun. A lifeguard does exude authority. Yeah, that's true. Even as a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it's not against the rules to get these milkers out. Yeah. You know, something yeah. like that. I was standing in like three feet of water <laughs> with a buoy. <laughs> Every story you tell about your childhood, you are in some form a cop, <laughs> which I really appreciate. Lifeguards are there to protect and serve. <laughs> <laughs> Drowning is a crime. <laughs> Um, should police officers be present at all water parks, public beaches, and pools? Uh, yeah, right? They should be there. They have to, <laughs> in case there's nudity. Uh, now, a lot of the answers are kind of confused. <laughs> I think because a trend here. being nude is somewhat of a, and this is a controversial, but kind of like a uh, uh, harmless crime, I guess you could say. I mean, I mean, I guess you could expose yourself to somebody, you know, and it's, and then you're kind of like sexually overexposing them. But uh -huh. if, if it's an accident, I think that's okay. Sure. Like if a tiger stole your pants, no one could be mad about, sure. about that. And you know what? I'm glad that we got to the bottom of this. If a tiger stole your pants, 
that no one could be mad about that. This is one of the recurring nightmares I have. I'm back in school, and I look down, and I go, oh, no, the tiger took them. (laughs) What a stupid question this was on account of if a tiger (laughs) stole your pants. It would be truly a blameless situation. (laughs) Um, Dan Ryder says, in England and Wales, there has been no crime of indecent exposure since 2003. Boom. UK. Take that. (laughs) Plenty of water parks and pools have naturist sessions, and even in the UK, there are more clothing optional public beaches than many people realize. I don't know if that's true. There might be more important matters for the police to attend to. Do water parks have, like, nudist... (laughs) Maybe, like, a day... Nudist swim? I could could see them having, like, nudist day, right? Yeah, you That's can get really fun. hurt by the slide today. That does sound painful. <laughs> that does sound bad. Yeah, all those like metal ridges are yours now. Yeah. Um, wave pools are crazy. We we did a, a a bonus about nudists from the UK, and they also called themselves naturists. I guess that's what they're called in it, England. It's an emerging sub community. Yeah, the naturist community. I guess I never, never thought that. about that. Yeah. Put a diaper on. Put a, That's yeah. what I say. Grow up. <laughs> it's diaper day at the water park. That would suck because they'd fill oh, up. Oh, Chris. <laughs> You're going to wave for water. I don't know diaper. about that. You don't like that, Alex? <laughs> I don't know if that's un- that's necessary. <laughs> well, I'm editing this episode, so okay. it stays in. All right. Um, it's a new era. And this other guy says, I heard of the flashlight police, the garbage police, the bicycle police, and the beach police. And now you want the pussy police? And then it says, ha, ha, ha. Like I haven't heard of any of those joke. things. Yeah. Also, like, I yeah. feel like the question was, like, should there be police at the beach? And the guy's like, now I've heard of the beach police. It's like, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Mark Bellingham, who is a former restaurateur at Lazy River Lodge oh. in Laughlin, Nevada. If you're a listener in Nevada, check out Lazy River Lodge. We've got, what, two more questions here? Can we please explore these other crime okay. and punishment Let's themed quarters, Jeremy? Why are U.S. Marshals concerned with manhunting, murder, infiltration, and police bamboozlement? Now, to find this one, I typed in the word police bamboozle. <laughs> <laughs> and this was one of the only responses. Why are U.S. Marshals concerned? With manhunting, murder, infiltration, and police bamboozlement. I would like to ask, act like confused about this one, except the thing is, I know why they're... Uh, <laughs> and why is that? It's the, what their job is. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> is to uh, concern themselves with manhunted, murder, infiltration, and police bamboozlement. What is police bamboozlement? Is that what Serpico's about? I don't know. They're bamboozling me. <laughs> <laughs> like entrapment? Is that I what they I guess. I, if it's corruption, is that a form of bamboozlement? If I, he, <laughs> If you have a badge and you commit a crime, is is that a bamboozlement? Serve the time. You well, in theory, you should serve the time. In theory, you should serve the time. Kind of it being a rhyme. What did the U.S. Marshals do? Let's take a step even farther back here. Okay, everything I know about these people is from the Adult Swim show Eagleheart. Right. So mostly they kill lots of people. I think that different types of marshals. There's like a there's air, air marshals. Air marshals there's, there's fire marshals, right? Yeah, there's, there's all of the different elements. I've gone to there's a laser water marshals tag and there's place where there's marshals. a marshal, but that's not like a government thing. That's just the <laughs> name of the person who works there. Um, let's see, marshals. Ah, this is boring. I don't know the answer. What is Jeremy? That? Read the United States Marshal Program <laughs> Wikipedia. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let them know. Uh, they enforce federal laws. And they provide support to virtually all elements of the federal justice system. I could so, do that. But my question really is, why are they concerned with manhunting, murder, infiltration, and police bamboos? Doesn't this sound like someone who got foiled by the U.S. Marshals and is so mad yeah, and so they, triggered? They seem so triggered. I'm so triggered by being arrested by the <laughs> marshals. This is, this is cope. You get one call or Quora question. <laughs> <laughs> You can call your lawyer or you can post to Quora. Like, what? Is this, am I in trouble? Go directly to the people. That is a thing, though. Like, whenever people get arrested for stuff, the police immediately look through your Google searches, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah, they yeah, find, yeah. like, you search, like, is it illegal yeah. to kill my wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was. the answer is yes. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done it. I really regret Googling so many crimes. <laughs> people do it every time. Yeah. They Quora and they Google their crimes. I I always like uh, Quora illnesses I think I might have. Yeah? I think. What um, illnesses do you think you have? Well, it's always like, my stomach hurts. Am I dying? And sure. then someone's like, yes. Yes, you're dying. <laughs> it's me, the robot. 
robot here. Hi, I am an on-duty police officer. You are dying. You have stomach cancer. I am an economist who loves Harry Potter. <laughs> You're basically dead. That may be gastritis. You've been bamboozled. I'm an economist. The police are confused. <laughs> All right, we have one more question on here. This is from My Teen Fun Zone, which is a space for teenagers to get to know each other and much more. 13 to 19 only. This is now, if I was actively part of the a sting operation this is the space <laughs> i would create so is it okay that we're on here well we're just reading the question i'm certainly not 13 so to 19 is for 13 to 19 yeah. only oh, shit. i think as long as you don't interact with the question it's okay. okay all right we're just reading it this is the question i am daphne lawman i am 19 years of age am i a senior in high school am i am i in senior high school in ghana it's like a riddle <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're like, am I in Ghana and am yeah. I 19? Am or? I in senior high school in Ghana? <laughs> Daphne <laughs> Law, man. I have four <laughs> legs in the morning. I have, <laughs> I have two legs during the day. And I have three legs at night. Am I Daphne Law, man? <laughs> am I 19 years of age in senior high school? What is senior <laughs> high school? Um, I Well, that's... They yeah. should, you know how like uh, elderly people yeah. go to like elderly homes and they have sure. fuck fests. They should have to have homework too. I they should agree. have senior high school yeah. where they also are back in school and they're like, who do, who you got the crush on? This, this is another great pitch for a Save TV this. show. This is good. T senior high school. I saw you at the lockers. I'm going to shove you into a <laughs> locker. Well, actually there are real programs. I don't know if you saw the news, but. Uh, seniors are spending time on college campuses. Really? They're just like hanging out there, like Good mingling with the youth. So, cool. Yeah. Try, trying frats. to access better books. I, I'm for sending our elders back to school. I agree. If they're already going to be fucking each other 24-7, they might as well be in high school. You're never too old to start learning. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Thank you. And I I think Daphne Lawman is in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Can and I again, this fits the theme because her name is Law Man, which right, is another on, word I was searching. Yes, that is that is the reason <laughs> it is here. That's the reason it is our fight. Now, the question is added by someone named Daphne Law, Daphne Law Man. Confirmed. So <laughs> 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 gone back to the source. <laughs> Uh, she, those are her two questions. She has one question that we just read, and the other one is, when I am in class and the teacher was teaching, I don't understand it at all, and I want to learn, but it was difficult for me. What should I do? And she knows about senior high school. You got to pay attention more, Daphne. Daphne. And, yeah, I don't know. The, the, there is one answer on this. It says, question makes no sense, and it's by Big Dog. That's my Big Dog. <laughs> You've been shooting out by the Big Dog. <laughs> He's the Big Dog. He graduated in 1990. From college, so he certainly should not be in the teen fun zone. He's kind of an older dog. Yeah, <laughs> big, <laughs> oh, big though. Size wise, size of a horse. Large. Good lord, this dog. <laughs> God forbid he pees on your bed. Um, older teens wrote no. no. <laughs> and then Sharon Kaufman wrote, "I do not know what you mean. Only you can determine whether you were in high school or have completed high school. At 19, some people oh have completed high school God. and some have not. If you have completed high school, you probably have or can obtain some documentation of that. Even if you don't have a formal diploma, you probably have transcripts showing that you have passed all the courses that your country or province requires. That has to be a high." <laughs> I'm upset at how thorough and accurate of an answer that is. Daphne is not going to recover. Those are the two <laughs> sides of Cora. That's the AI person, and the other people are just like, I don't know what this is. I'm assuming this is part of the Ghana Dare program. Where they go <laughs> online, they're like, Daphne got high one time. She forgot she was in senior high school. It got <laughs> Now she can't learn from her teachers. Yeah, this is like the kind of, Quora feels like the kind of website, like a fake website that you'd see on like CSI in 2006. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where they're like investigating Daphne Lawman and they show her computer and she's like, I am Daphne Lawman. <laughs> she's using the internet to hook up with other teens <laughs> for drugs. Does anyone else like stealing? <laughs> <laughs> that could be our question at the end of this episode. Oh, yeah, true. I don't know. Uh, the thing is, I think stealing is actually quite popular. I think it's a uh, universal thrill. I've stolen. What's something you've stolen? Um, I Let's get this on the record. <laughs> <laughs> I stole makeup from Sephora, uh, uh, and I did get arrested. It's wow. a very embarrassing story. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I stole from my job. I worked at a grocery store, and I stole groceries every day. And that's what led me to believe I could get away with stealing from Sephora. Uh, the thing is, sometimes crime is kind of easy, and yeah. it really misleads you yeah. as to... <laughs> 
well, how bad it will be when you get caught. Exactly. That's fine. When you get caught, they're so mean to you. <laughs> They're actually really nice to me. Uh, really? And I had such at Sephora? A this has not been my experience. <laughs> <laughs> no, the mall security guards were really mean. But then the cops, I actually like made friends with them. Yeah. Oh. I told them I was a comedian. You got your whole life jokes. ahead of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was like last week. <laughs> <laughs> you had like a lot of nice makeup on. <laughs> I know you from Comedy Central. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cops saw your special. Makeup yeah. is so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> part of your routine <laughs> um no i got arrested for drugs when i was like 18 or something and they were very mean to me oh, about yeah. it very unfair very not nice to me on the side of the road wow. in maryland i have not been arrested i've done nothing fun Loser. Goddamn yeah, cop. Cool. he's a fucking cop I'm, I'm, I'm in the police force he's a lifeguard which is a cop yeah. i'm allowed to do the crimes on account of my friends or the police officers i guess yeah. as long as you do the time <laughs> i refuse this is bamboozlement <laughs> i can only be arrested by a u.s marshal <laughs> Okay, well, let's let's ask her a question and okay. get out of here. What what was, what was it? Was it like are crimes uh, easy to do? I don't remember. I don't know. Do we have any questions that we want to ask Decora? Do you have any questions you'd like to ask Decora? Dina's the guest. Dina um, is our guest. Um, That's a fact. You don't have to. We can also just do the. Does anyone else think stealing is easy? Yeah, I want to hear people's crime crimes. Oh, yeah, what's the worst crime you ever committed? Yeah, what's the worst? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. What's the worst crime you ever committed that you weren't caught for? What is it? What is it? What is the worst crime you ever committed? Was it fun? Okay. Yeah. And then I'm sure we'll get some harrowing responses from the <laughs> horror community that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, type that up. In the meantime, Dina, thank you so much for coming on thank the Corators so Hit Podcast. Uh, where can our listeners find you at home and abroad? Um, at Dina Hashem underscore online. And I have a special Dark Little Whispers on Amazon Prime. Check out Amazon.com, <laughs> the everything store. Uh, if you want more of our show, we have other episodes every Thursday on Patreon.com slash Coordinators, where we go on other websites such as LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, until it is l- illegal to do so. We should maybe go back to TikTok quickly. I yeah, think, actually, no, we're actually. running out of that. I, mean, I got messages immediately that this will only improve our show. And to those people, I say, we're reading more. We're reading more than ever. I think they meant because Quora will become more popular. Oh, I think they meant because it's a visual medium and it's an audio podcast. Maybe, I, <laughs> maybe you're right. There's no way to know. We'll have to go back. Uh, un, uh, but aside from that, thank you for listening. And um, hey, have a good one out there as well. Yeah, have a good one out there. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get diaper punished 24-7. All right, that's it. <laughs>